Oh, you and those pretzels. <laughs> you actually bought one of those things? There's nothing like a Wawa pretzel. Oh. Look, you had your lobster roll and I'll have my Wawa pretzel. Yum. Ah. Oh. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first thrift store. And right off the bat, what collectors today call watermelon glass for obvious reasons, pink and green. They're from the Great Depression era. And we have little sherbets. No, they don't match. And there are some little flea bites, but they're too good to say no. And it's $4.50 for four of them. Now you're gonna say, well, Scott, you didn't buy that one the other day. No, I didn't buy that one the other day. It had a really big chip. And um, these, the chips on these are pretty much flea bites, so we can deal with that. A very nice lady just stopped me while I was filming, and she said, oh, I think those are have uranium. And I said, yes, they do. You don't need a black light. You can just see it. All right, so we'll put those down in there even though they don't match and they have little chips, we'll take them anyway, and then there's that. Okay, here I am at the Second Avenue Thrift Store in um, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia. Jeffrey is running around here somewhere. He happens to be in town. You may know who that is. Actually, he's right there, and he has done some guest moderating on a couple of shows, and he, oftentimes he's in the chat, and he's in this area, so we're gonna do a little thrifting today, and look, we know what that is, and it's it's missing its uh, dish. <laughs> we could put one in there anyway, but okay. okay, I'll turn the camera off till we find something else exciting. Here's a small collection of flower frogs. Most of them appear to be the same. I think these five are the same pattern, same size. And then this one is slightly different. They are $2.50 each. So that would be five, 10. That would be $15 for six of them. Would you pay $15 for six flower frogs? Well, did I add that up correctly? I think I might keep them all together. Maybe sell them all. There's a little bit of cash in that, profit-wise. Not much, but I'll probably do that. The next stop is the Habitat for Humanity of Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And uh, this actually years ago, believe it or not, was an antique mall. I forget the name of it. Thank you, Jeffrey. <clears throat> but you have, to go, you have to go down here and it used to be an antique store many years ago and now it is a uh, it's been a, a second avenue i'm sorry it's <laughs> chime in correct me because there's this weird phenomenon when you start filming and you start talking you don't even say the right thing restore restore look at the little cracked ice set for children this is cute This is actually uh, the silent auction section of the store. Very busy today. Very, very busy today. So, <clears throat> you have to write your name and number in and all that stuff. Those are pretty. Very chunky. And so, 1940s, 50s. But nice. And I think there are some antique mantle lusters, real antique mantle lusters around here somewhere. Look at this nice old East Lake bed. Look at this. I'm eating a dum dum. Mmm. <laughs> There's the mirror. I wonder if the dresser is here. The dresser must be here somewhere. There's the mirror. 
<clears throat> and the bed. Aren't they nice? And these actually have the uh, the gothic cut prisms, the big, long, thick, heavy prisms. Boy, those are nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, uh, let's go over to the glass department and see what's what. Lamps. Well, they're standing next to each other, and they are cousins, but they're from very different generations. Which one is from the 30s, and which one is probably from the 1980s or 90s? You already knew that. Not very modern, made within the last well, 30 years or so. And then the pretty etched paneled optic glass from the Depression era. Living side by side, very happily. I don't know, Jeffrey, but I think Ramada decided to remodel their 1980s conference room. Very good, yeah. Are you waiting for the lecture series to begin? <laughs> oh, I love the Covells. Me too. She's still living. Um, she's she here. is, yeah. Yeah, uh, it is, also. yeah, Ralph and Terry. Course, okay, this this is her silver and pewter. That mm -hmm. might be that's good for the. Uh, I'm digging for you. I I met them a couple of times and they are so lovely. I used to watch them when they were used to, used to be on the Martha Stewart show all the time. She they're not. Have them on. They're not pretentious at all. No, they're, they're just not. like they're your next famous. door neighbors. <laughs> this is, I could probably benefit. I am I am losing some hearing, but look, I was looking at the inside. Okay, if that's the test that you have to undergo. Escutcheon, Escutcheon catheter. Look at that, it goes from here. This is like a COVID test, isn't it? Okay, the books are, the Covells will take that. Women's Day Book of Antiques, maybe. I'm getting this, look, radio star. I always wanted to be a radio star. You know, video killed the- video, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> well, go ahead video and video killed go the ahead. <clears throat> So what does that say about you? Singer Home Decoration Selling did you see this Book. One? Yeah, I put you gave that to me and I oh, put I it did. back. You gave it to I gave it to you and you threw it away. Yeah, I wasn't look at the oh you were gosh, this is so what year? This is what 61? Oh, All right. I'll have to get this for my mid-century folk. Well, I have no interest, but my mid-century people will. Some place to put some 1961. Look at all of that color in that room. Look May at this. You die in Ireland. Bring back color. Bring it back. But not the Naga hide. Oh gosh, look at that curtain swag. Okay, now I'm not sure about that. But what does that do for you? Oh, I love that those are Priscilla curtains. I oh. love that Priscilla Rumble's Okay, well, I have that yeah. in my living room. Oh, well, to each his own. Okay, oh, very nice. Well, you know I like the 1940s. Look, here's Froggy on a courtin' with Miss Mousy, or Miss Mouse. Oh, I can do that. Oh. Look! Well, apparently the sun me here. I think my mother taught me this wrong. Froggy went a courtin' and he did right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What happens here? I think he marries the mouse, or tries to anyway. Oh. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, there's the dish ran away with the spoon, I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, there's, see, there's the cat and the fiddle. Where's the cow? Ran away doesn't with he, the spoon. No, he jumps over the moon, doesn't oh, he? he? Did. The dish ran away with the spoon. Yeah, this is kind of cool. What is this? Well, maybe he's expanding oh, it's just collect a bunch of collectibles. Oh, golly, what is that? Oh, we must be careful. You've got to just absolutely be kidding me. $45 for a drop front quarter sawn oak ladies' desk. Typically, this size would be um, probably dates to about. 
1910, 1915, <clears throat> 1900. We'll fold it down. Very nice. And in oak. Here's a drawer for your writing paper. I like this shell. Beautiful legs with a little, sort of like a pad foot at the bottom. Let's see if there's a, sometimes there's a furniture maker. I don't see one there. $45. Let me back up. Oak. Gosh. I'll tell you. This is the time. Brown furniture. Get it now, everybody. That is a steal. Okay, you see the Philby? By Hawking? Wonderful, and it's got its lid, and it's only $4.50. That's terrific. So, we have a pattern here. We know how, this is the sapphire blue, and uh, in the Philby pattern. And it's gonna be marked Fire King there, as you can see. Wonderful, with its lid. Okay, let's get that into the cart. We're now at another Second Avenue. For Oops. <laughs> Don't worry, nothing broke. We're now at another. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look, look, look. Here's old Pyrex. Here is old Pyrex, and it is etched. I love it. Got another one of those old handles on the top. And that one is $4. Okay, that's going to go into the cart as well. That one actually has a rubber band on it, so it keeps the lid in place. This one doesn't have a rubber band, so it it went flying in my cart. Okay, so let me look real fast. You have to move quickly when you get into the stores because there's always one or two or three other people that are in here, you know, doing the same thing I am. And you've got to move fast or someone will snag it, snag it, snag it. That's old. See the way it's painted? and the stepped sides. It's $2, it's got a crack, a lot of staining. I know that's old, but we'll turn it upside down now and we'll see made in Japan. That's pretty and that goes back to the 1930s. And for $2.50, that's actually, that's actually okay. This would be something that's probably decorative. You know, nobody's really gonna wanna make their scrambled eggs in that. Well, some people would, uh, but for, a decorative piece that would be nice this is also here i just happen to notice i've got so much of this this is that bakeware oven serve yeah there it is okay that's four dollars and fifty cents i don't need it i've got it very inexpensive this these pieces I think i've got four or five pieces of that all right we'll take a look Remember in the 1950s, it wasn't really jadeite so much, although Anchor Hocking was still making jadeite into the 60s. But this mint green color was also around in the 50s and it looks really nice when you put it with black. I like this set. You've got four dinner plates, four cups, but only two saucers. Oh well. You get all 10 pieces for $12 and it has sort of a grainy, pebbly, see that? And we'll turn the plates upside down and let you see so that you know who the manufacturer is. But you can also, you can tell by the size of the dinner plates and the shapes that we're definitely now getting into more of the mid-century era. So we'll let you see there. Uh, Taylor Smith Taylor, Pebbleford, oven proof, made in USA. Oh, well, they actually say that it's mint. Mint, mint green. Yeah, so they're just a little bit, it's okay, but I'm gonna leave these here because we really only have enough for two people. And so I'm out of focus again. Okay, oh, let me stand back up. Pull my cart out of the way. I'm getting in people's way here. Something, something to think about to possibly purchase and put away until next autumn to sell is the King Crown, King's Crown 
thumbprint in amber, there's a lot of it here, and you could put a set of four together. So for 650, you could have four goblets, and then little cordials here, you could get four of them for 450, 650, 450, and then I could get four uh, sherbets uh, for 650 as well. So by the time you add all that up and throw tax in there, you're close to $20. And hey, not bad. If you're going to keep it, take it home and use it. It's so pretty in the autumn season, I think. I think it's an attractive color of amber and a very much loved pattern. King's crown thumbprint. I'm gonna have to think about these. I may or may not pop on those today. Oh gracious, I stand back up. Stretch my poor old knees. Okay. Uh, I believe I shall continue shopping. I don't think those are gonna go anywhere very fast. All right, well, you know what? The chunkiness of these puts them into the you know late 40s into the 1950s these tall dresser lamps they're they're not bad they actually have etched some etched flowers on this watch out sometimes this is plastic but these are still glass how do you like these jeffrey Those are they are oh look now these might be a little bit i'm gonna back up a little bit now and say uh the 1940s 40s into the 50s anyway so there's actually I'm I'm beginning to be to become more and more attracted to these. I think it's the orig original wire. I think we're into the somewhere around 1945 to 55 on these probably. Anyway, these aren't bad. What do I need? Let's see. This would be eight and eight. No, five and five. Okay, so ten bucks for the pair. Throw some nice little ruffled shades on there and you're right back in that era of late 40s i might actually you know i've got so many of these though jeffrey i don't know well i have to take the advice of the old folks who taught me buy it when you see it well guess what i see it and i'm buying it okay oh dear let's get these into the cart jeffrey's looking at some religious art and he's going to pick up some of this restaurant wear for himself, is he not? I think so. Yeah. I think he is. Wonderful. It's so so far, we have all of this in here, and then this. I love this religious I'm trying to art. figure out what it says. Did it say? Yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Let's keep. Not faith. sure if it's in Latin or Italian. I'm assuming Latin. I like that old wooden frame. That's pretty. Yeah, you can't really tell. Okay, go. Okay, guys. So I thought. I would Google image search this. And I did. And what came up was what I thought it was the enunciation, and that's exactly what's featured here. However, when you Google image search, anything can come up. This person is trying to charge people $70 for it. That's not necessarily worth $70. So you have to be very careful at what you Google image. Yes. Oh, you want me to Google image that? No. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> All right. Let's put it back Let's on the rack. $174,000. Well, I guess we'll put that back. I'm not interested. I, I think You're I'll You're not going to get it? I'm not interested in it for me personally. Where do you want to put it? Oh, I guess I, I got it off the... It's pretty, very well done. It's in really, really nice condition. So... Um, actually, you could buy it, Jeffrey, and then if anyone is interested, they could contact you. Okay, he says no. I say it's not my. <laughs> I think I'll pass on that too. I'm but I'm not selling. Pass on that. I'm I thought you were on. I thought you were on. Uh, yes, you were. You were on. Um, what not? What not yeah. for a while? Yeah. I will put that back in. All right, I'll get it. Okay. Uh, no. Only because I'm pressuring you to do it. Yes. See, I have such an effect. That's. T I did not pressure him to get it. Now they're going to get mad at me. They're. They are going to get mad at me. They're still here. Did you guys see my video a couple weeks ago or a week ago? I cannot believe that four antique oak chairs at $12 for the chairs. For 20 years, I'm saying to myself, 
You are needing one more chance. What's 12 divided by 4? I didn't make it past 5th grade. What's 12 divided by 4? Three dollars? I'm sitting in a three, three dollars. You can't even get and half a... comfortable too. You can't even get half a pint of three bean salad for three dollars. Three bean salad? They're gonna be like, Scott, enough with the three bean salad. What's wrong with you with this three bean salad? And we saw the maker, one of them has the maker's mark on the bottom. This one. Did it fall off? Oh, I hope somebody didn't pull it off. I bet somebody pulled it or it fell off. They did because when I filmed it, I had the the makers. This one has a big repair on it, too, Scott. The maybe there are five chairs around here somewhere. There's this one has a repair on it. Well, that's no problem. If they repaired it, if they did a good repair. Oh no! Oh no! Here it is. It's got the sticker. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, these are antique oak all day long. Blanchard and Sun. Yeah, I think I just from New Hampshire was it said, yeah, those are nice old oak chairs. They might have. Yeah. I'm so tempted. Well, I'm in my pickup. You you can't get those in your Jeep. No. Well, folks, you got to walk away sometimes. Unfortunately. Who remembers their little school little Sunday school chair? I always call these little Sunday school chairs. I can see myself now singing I want to be a sunbeam or uh, do lord oh do lord oh do you remember me you didn't you didn't sing do lord did you no no you weren't an old methodist no i'm a catholic boy do the catholics sing do lord do lord oh do lord oh, no. do you remember me Absolutely. oh well, that's all right okay ouch who is this Oh, Turbo Scrub. Who? Anthony Sullivan. Never. Turbo Scrub. I don't know him. Yeah. Who? He used to be a famous... He used to sell things on TV. You don't remember that? Anthony who? Anthony Sullivan. Anthony Sullivan. He's giving you the thumbs up. He wants you to buy the Turbo Scrub. Oh. Ooh, look at these peppers. Ouch. If you ever lock yourself in the bathroom, you have something to do. What am I stuck on? What? I don't have an electric skillet in my bathroom. Not that there'd be anything wrong with that. <laughs> That's a good one. Happy little flower. Oh gosh, I've always wanted to play the concertina. Don't you like uh, sea shanties? <laughs> now I can't get it back to get... Oh, me hearties! Hi ho! On the poop deck! All right, everybody, here's a thrill for you. What is this? Who are, what are their names? There's uh, Josh, Brad, and who? Mitch. Squinch? Mitch? Mitch. Mitch. I don't know who. Uh -oh. They're hanging on for dear life, I suppose. I don't want that. You go right ahead. <laughs> Knock your set. You go right ahead and live large. What is this? Ah! Ooh. I don't need that. I'm thinking about sharks while I'm drinking my iced tea. What you are observing, everyone, is a person from Massachusetts who cannot get Tasty Cakes, the wonderful Philadelphia dessert. And here he is. He has no idea he's being filmed in the wild. This has been the biggest thrill for him. The biggest thrill is to find Tasty Cakes. I'm going to send a whole batch up to, where are you from? Massachusetts? Good yeah, have my coconut. Never, Tasty never cakes. Happy. Oh my gosh, everybody! You, look, if you're from Philly, so I but they ship sure. these now to other uh, parts of the country. I'm gonna buy them by the case. Well, I think I'm gonna get a honey bun. That looks phenomenal. Oh golly gee, I can remember being in sugar. elementary school and trading butterscotch crimpets. Oh, you and those pretzels! <laughs> you actually bought one of those things? There's nothing like a Wawa pretzel. Oh. Look, you have your lobster roll and I'll have my Wawa pretzel. Yum. 
Oh. Now that is the biggest one I have ever seen. Oh, but alas, alack, the handle is broken. Look, the span of my thumb to this finger is nine inches. That thing is 16 inches tall. I have never seen a glass basket that big. It's even, it's even nine inches across this way and it's um, etched <clears throat> wheel cut and uh, goes way back. That's, you know, 1930s and 40s and 50s. These are popular. Good grief, that's the largest one. I don't know. I didn't know they made them like that. I wish it weren't broken. Well, it's fun to discover new things, and I don't know but whether or not anyone has seen one of these before. Uh, it's a neat little vase bowl. <laughs> uh, it's etched, but it has a rolled edge like a console bowl. Let's look at it out here. You seen one of these before, folks? I like it, $10. So, little wheel cut flowers, and I think it's that rolled edge around the top that makes it so unique. I just have never seen one. 50% off yellow tags? Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. The clear glass, and there's so much to be seen today in this particular store. Uh, oh, I cannot wait to show you what's in my cart. I'm going to guess this will be a two-part video where we'll have to do a full show and tell in a separate video. That's an interesting and somewhat unusual. That almost looks like a bone. Look at the shape of that one. Oh, wow. There's like a celery like a celery dish. I would imagine so. Funny little shape to it. Sad. I have to... <laughs> my word now is charcuterie. They're going to get tired of hearing me. All right, Scott, we know that you know what a charcuterie board is. Quit saying it. All right, I'll stop saying it. Um, oh dear. This little dresser tray. I like that. Mm hmm. What else have we got? The bottom of a chip and dip. Well, you can already see, you know what that is, but wait do you see what that is. Hi, everyone. I just have to tell you about some 1930s furniture. Uh, again, this would be, you know, circa early 1930s, but what you'll notice is um, it's been reupholstered. That's not the original upholstery on the sofa. Um, it's okay. The price of the sofa is $174.99, and... Uh, the pillows really are, well, obviously it's all been redone. But the nice thing is, I'm about to show you the original chair that went with it, or one of the chairs. There would have been three, there would have been two chairs. Uh, one of the chairs that goes, uh, um, thank you, Sissy and Nababi, for the lovely rendition. And now a message from our friends at Geritol. Here's the chair, and this is the original upholstery. Now I'm salivating over this chair. I wish that the sofa hadn't been reupholstered, but um, that's what the upholstery looks like on the chair that matches the sofa. You can see how much it faded. When it was new, it was much more of a rose color. So it's interesting that they reupholstered the sofa, but the chair was never redone. Um, there's no price on the chair. I don't know if they have it marked separately. Look at that. Um, but it would be definitely worth buying it and then having it reupholstered. It would be expensive to reupholster it. Look how, oh gosh, that's wonderful. So we'll back up again and let you see the chair. Very early, this is very early 1930s. Fantastic. And then there would have been another, um, they typically came in sets of three, a sofa and two chairs. Boy, that chair is just fantastic. 
they don't have that chair priced separately. Normally here, they don't care if it's uh, matching furniture, they'll price each piece individually. So there just might not be a price tag on it, but here, here again is their reupholstered sofa. Let me see it. Oh well. Look at this thing. It's probably built like a tank, like a Navy destroyer. It's the Acme Supreme Juicerator. You have to stand back when you start that thing. Acme Supreme Juicerator. This has to be from, oh, it's got to be at least, what, the 60s. <laughs> right? With this black plastic on the top. They don't make anything like this now. The Acme Supreme Juicerator. Boy, I could juice all kinds of things. You could stick a whole watermelon in there. Okay, let's see now. We have moved on to a Goodwill store. And look at these, look at these bohemian painted things. Oh, we have to take a closer look at these. They may or may not be old, but they're... Hi. Well, thank you everyone who went shopping with me and Jeffrey today. We're in an old South Jersey town in an old antique store. Uh, he's around here parading around somewhere. I'll try to find him, but in case I can't, it's time to bring it to a close and say, thank you so much for watching. There will be a big thrift haul in the next few days, probably after Easter, and you'll get to see everything that was purchased on this trip. Okay, that's all for now. I'm not sure if you'll see this before or after Easter, so I certainly hope you have a nice time with family or friends, or family and friends. Until I see you, I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop. Thanks for watching. Wait for the cat. So long for now.